everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park. Uh, as you guys all saw in the time lapse, we went ahead and built the Comsignatus exhibit. Uh, as I said I would, I put it in this small area uh, that's going to be basically between the Velociraptors and the, uh, what do you call them, Spinosaurus and T-Rex. So, kind of see them a little bit right here. Um, I might have made the exhibit slightly more um, the foliage slightly denser than I uh, planned to I can't see anything um, but I kind of like the look of it anyways there's plenty of areas that you'll be able to see them in as you drive through the uh, jeeps will drive right by the exhibit so I, I actually like it um, like I said, maybe the forage is a little bit denser than it needs to be, but there's enough of them in there where you shouldn't have a hard time seeing them. And I know there's a ton of messages up there that I should probably deal with, but I really can't be bothered at the moment. I'll deal with them once uh, the zoo is open and everything. There's one. I also put a lot of, actually let's go, ahead and go inside there, put several, uh, I think I showed this in the uh, time lapse, put several like lizards and frogs in there for them to uh, snack on and hunt, that way they're not just eating out of bowls and stuff. Oh, hello? Here's several of them. This is a very cool model too, I think it's pretty much ripped right out of the Jurassic Park. The Lost World because it looks exactly like that down to the uh, the color and everything as well. It looks very cool. And I believe they actually, as you can he kind of hear, I think they have the uh, they make the sound of the uh, the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park which is a little bit odd unless I'm hearing that from the Jurassic or from the uh, Velociraptor exhibit over there which is out uh, this way is that what I'm hearing? Oh, let's see oh yeah that's coming from over here That's cool, I didn't know they added the sounds to these. That's very cool. I didn't notice that in the last episode. I like that a lot. But anyway, uh, not to get hung up on that, I'm going to get, give you guys an aerial view of the uh, exhibit here. Uh, like I said, very dense foliage, but I don't mind that really. I actually really like the look of all these ferns all sort of clustered together like that. I hadn't tried that before, but I like the way it looks. Um, and then now we have, go ahead and pause this, all of this space here is all going to be T Rex and Spinosaurus. Kind of thinking T Rex and Spinosaurus on either side. Excuse me, and then there'll be a wall right down the middle that divides them. So, so that is what I'm thinking and we'll go from there so and then I'm gonna be filling this in all these areas that still look blank um, with foliage and all that so don't worry it won't look as sparse uh, once I'm ready to actually open up the park so yeah it's gonna do it for this one guys just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tour of that um, now that uh, it's finished and then in the next video I don't know if I'm going to do uh, Tyrannosaurus and Spinosaurus in the same episode or if I'm going to do that two separate ones probably the same but we'll just sort of um, see how I feel then I guess so <laughs> we'll see uh, but yeah that's gonna do it for this one guys so once again thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one